Now, a health worker from the Scottish borders is appearing in a photography exhibition celebrating 75 years of NHS charities. Yes, the portraits were taken by celebrity photographer Rankin and Gala Shields nurse Caroline Hogg appears alongside some famous faces. Natasha Potts reports. It's been 10 years since the Margaret Care Unit at Borders General Hospital was opened thanks to a massive fundraising effort and one of its staff has been invited to London to appear in an exhibition celebrating 75 years of NHS charities. It was quite nerve-wracking, the thought of going down to London yourself um, to be photographed by Rankin, who often photographs celebrities and stars. It was, it was quite the thought of it, but as soon as I arrived there in the studio, it was, it was such a relaxed environment. Rankin himself was such a lovely guy, he was so down to earth, um, he was having a laugh and joke with us all. You, you immediately felt relaxed and the portraits do look fab. I do hope to get down to the Satcha Gallery to see the, the portrait in person. Caroline is one of 14 staff, patients and volunteers, including actor Michael Palin and footballer Jordan Henderson, to feature in a photography exhibit that highlights the role charities have played throughout the history of the NHS. It was obviously about celebrating the NHS and its incredible achievements, but also shining a light on the, the role of NHS charities throughout that history as well, and to show the extra support that's been provided by that network of 230 charities behind the scenes. So we hope that people will be inspired by some of the wonderful stories like Caroline's. The Margaret Care Unit provides end-of-life care for patients and was set up after the nurse it was named after left more than £700,000 in her will for the unit to be built. I think we were the only project in Scotland that, that was chosen and there was only 12 in the whole country to go down um, and be part of this exhibition um, with NHS charities together and um, Rankin. So it was, it was a huge privilege and it's been open now for 10 years but we all say we can't imagine not having it now. It is, it's, it's, a, it's a special place to have and I'm proud to like here. The work of NHS charities often goes unnoticed, but the number of people they help continues to bloom year after year. Natasha Potts, ITV News.